Hey everybody, this is my uh, very first review for Like Tony Glossman's Movie Club, and I'm pretty sure I said that wrong, but oh well. Uh, and this time, the film that we're watching is Pulp Fiction, um, which is a really good film for me to do my first review on. So, let's... <coughs> sorry. Let's begin. Uh, Pulp Fiction is, without a doubt, one of the greatest films ever made. I mean, like, there's no argument about it. It truly is one of the greatest films ever made, like, top ten films ever made. It's up there with like you know Citizen Kane, Casablanca, The Godfather. That it's in there somewhere. I don't know where, but it's in, it's in the top ten. <laughs> it's uh, it's written and directed by Quentin Tarantino, uh, who won an Oscar for it as well as his writing partner Roger Avery, and they also won the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, another extremely high uh, you know film award. Um, yeah, and the recent winner of that was The Tree of Life, in case you're wondering, by Terrence Malick. But yeah, we're not talking about The Tree of Life. We're talking about Pulp Fiction. <laughs> The film stars uh, John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, Bruce Willis, Ving Rhames, Uma Thurman. Um, to an extent, you could say it stars Tim Roth and Amanda Plummer as well, but I'm not going to say that. Um, yeah, but this film is just absolutely phenomenal. It resurrected the career of John Travolta. It gave Samuel L. Jackson some of his best lines. It started the career of Ving Rhames and Uma Thurman. I think she did maybe two films before that. But no one really knew her, and now people knew her. Yeah. This film is just really great. It's filled with all these, you know, iconic things that uh, John Travolta and Uma Thurman's dance, John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson, just their characters. Everything they do is iconic. Say what? Say what again? I dare you, motherfucker! I double dare you! How can you not like that? Ving Rhames. Oh my God! Best line in the film. I'm about to get medieval on your ass. Or I'm gonna get. Sorry. I'm gonna get medieval on your ass. <laughs> That's great. Harvey Keitel has a really small role in this film, too, but he's absolutely phenomenal in it. Gentlemen, let's not just... Ugh, fuck. Gentlemen, let's not start sucking each other's dicks now. <laughs> so good. Um, also, this film is a really good example of a type of film called Hyperlink Cinema, which is where like you have all these different uh, storylines, and you don't really know how they're connected, but it turns out they're connected by this really small thing, like... The opening scene of this film is Tim Roth and Amanda Plummer, these two people, in a diner, and they decide to rob the diner. And we watch the rest of the film, and we're wondering, like, what the fuck are they doing in here? Like, how are they connected with the rest of the film? And we find out at the end of the film, and even though probably everyone who's watching Movie Club has seen this film, I'm not going to spoil it, but whatever. Um, yeah, but it's, it's just a really awesome film overall. If you haven't seen it, what the fuck? <laughs> Go see it right now. Stop watching this review. Go watch it. Come back, finish watching the review. Or just do whatever you want, but ensure that watching the film is in there somewhere. Yeah. And just on a quick little personal note, I'd like to say that uh, this is my first review, like I already said, and the day that the whole Like Totally Awesome video will come out for Pulp Fiction is on August 5th, 2011, which is my birthday. So even if you don't like the review I did, even if you just put in like one little second of it, it would be, that, that would make my day. That would. I would be very happy. <laughs> Um, yeah, but, whatever, like, I'll keep doing these, and even if you don't like them, don't put them in, but, like, just whatever, you know, like, put them in if you want, of course, but, <laughs> um, yeah, anyways, that was my very first review for, like, Totally Awesome's Movie Club of Pulp Fiction, great film, I give it a phenomenally outstanding 10 out of 10, and if you haven't checked it out, um, like I said already, what the fuck, go see it, <laughs> um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye-bye.